Hello YouTube, we're going to share our recipe with you on making homemade yogurt using the Instant Pot. If you aren't familiar with the Instant Pot, look into it. It's a good tool that we use in our kitchen. It's an all-in-one cooker. It's a pressure cooker. It's a slow cooker. It's a rice cooker. And it also has a yogurt cycle where it will cook yogurt for you. Place the grate that came with the Instant Pot in the bottom and add a cup and a half of water. We're using wide mouth pint jars. Four of these will fit easily into the Instant Pot. And each one of those that we're going to make yogurt in, we're going to add a cup and a half of milk. You'll place your lids and rings onto the jars and place them back into the Instant Pot. Then we're going to set our manual pressure cycle. It automatically comes up to pressure for 30 minutes, but we're going to decrease that time to two minutes. This is what you call scalding the milk. Scalding the milk just makes sure that any germs that could be in the milk are killed and it kind of gives you a, sling, a clean slate to start with for your yogurt culture. After it's cooked the two minutes, carefully remove it to cool and you'll want to cool it down to 90 degrees. After it's cooled to 90 degrees, at that time it's safe to be able to add the yogurt culture to it without taking a risk of killing your yogurt culture. To this each jar we're going to add one tablespoon of non-fat dry milk, one tablespoon of sugar, and one tablespoon of yogurt culture. I got my start of a yogurt culture out of the grocery store and I just bought some Greek yogurt plain that was says it'll say cultured yogurt on the container if it doesn't say cultured yogurt it may not work for you after you've added your sugar and your powdered milk and your yogurt stir it up real well and mix it and combine it all together and then add a half a cup of chopped fruit of your choice we're using strawberries and peaches because they're fresh at this time. After you've added your fruit, if you choose to stir the fruit up just a little bit, you can. I just dumped mine in the top and left it. Then you'll place your lids and rings back on the jars. Place your jars back in the Instant Pot. Place your lid on the Instant Pot. Make sure your vent is closed and not open and then you will select the yogurt cycle. When you select the yogurt cycle it's going to automatically come up and show you it's going to cook for eight hours. We're going to increase this time by pushing the plus sign up to 12 hours. This just makes it a little bit thicker Greek style yogurt. After it's cooked the 12 hours on the display screen it will come up and say Y0 or OGT stands for yogurt just shows you that the yogurt cycle is done and your yogurt is cooked you'll want to remove the yogurt place it in the refrigerator to cool this stops the incubation period of the yogurt your yogurt plain yogurt culture if you want to make that just omit the sugar and the fruit and that way you can keep your cultures going for the next batches that you want to make if you have any questions, please send us a instant message or leave your comments down below and we will answer all comments. We can help you out in any way we will. Please give us a thumbs up for our video and join our channel. This is the Pressured Prepper and I'm out.